Hi guys, um, this is the Pepsil Spartha, the climbing knife. So it comes just like that, and a little wrapper um, with a plastic kind of buckle and then the knife itself. So you can just undo that, just pull it out, there it is. So that's just a flyer, bit of information on it. Three year warranty, guarantee and 43 gram for the actual knife, so that's quite light. And uh, yeah, here it is. So. In comparison, here's a carabiner, so you can kind of see the size of it. And the hole at the top is big enough to fit a carabiner. So you can just carry it on your on your harness like that when you need it. And you can even keep it on it if you need to use it. So very simple. And uh, yeah, so when you open it, it locks in place. You can hear a little click. And uh, so yeah, once it, you can hear it, you can see it at the back. Click, it clicks in, so now it won't lock, so it, there's no danger of it just closing on your hands when you're holding it. Um, and then to, to unlock it, you just click the button again and you just push it in. And it's kind of a vital tool to have on your on your climbing harness, just in case you know you get tangled in rope or you need to cut a rope or something. So the blade itself, you can see the top is there and then it's serrated at the bottom. And uh, which just helps when you try and cut a rope. And there's just the, the, the steel grate and then the name just there, Spartha. So I've got my old rope here. Just let me get it. So nah. some actually quite bad rope anyway, so you can see it's just breaking there. So just to so if you want to cut it, you just there you go. Oops, camera just moved, all right. You can you can see it it cut the rope extremely easily so you just especially the serrated one you just you can see that like it just glides through it so yeah nice little knife uh, and worth having on your harness and like i said it kind of it closes and then it just sits on there uh, on any kind of carabiner now the hole is not big enough which is kind of annoying to slide through there so that would have been maybe an improvement so you can actually slide all the way around the carabiner just in case it you know you've got another something else on that carabiner you, you kind of have to go around to get it off but yeah, um, I got it for my upcoming trip. There's another couple of other companies make them, um, similar ones. However, this is by far the, um, the favorite of most people because it's very light, robust, and uh, it's got a good edge to cut uh, the knife and anything else that you might need. So yeah, impressed with it. If you need one, consider it. Um, it's, yeah, it's kind of, I think, a must, must have thing on your harness, especially when you're doing longer tours or longer climbs. And at the end of the day, it's just a backup device, isn't it? So if you, you know, if you need to cut a bit of cord to do an upsell or something, you just, you know, you've got a knife on you. And uh, if you like the review, remember to subscribe. Um, I'll post some other ones. It's all the gear that I use myself, so it's my own opinion. Um, I'm not being paid by anyone to do it. Uh, I just thought I'd give feedback on what I like and why I like it. Uh, sometimes it's quite hard to, to find um, stuff that you want. It does have a little hole down here, I just saw, which I don't actually know what it's for. Maybe it's to put a, a string on it, tie it and put you basically put a like, bit of string through it, put a knot on it and pull it in, but I don't actually know, so I'll try and find that out. But well, it's just, I don't know. But yeah, um, nice, so yeah, please subscribe and uh, make sure you watch the other videos that I upload.